I thought I might as well ask Ramel some questions here that I think will probably help some of you guys. So first off, how often do you go to the gym? Wagwan people, right now what we're doing is going to the gym. My little brother I think is actually here so I may actually train with him unless he's with friends. Alright Pete's little brother's here as well. How long have you been training now? Four months. Four months in the gym, but like basketball for how long? Three years. Because they're gonna say that, yo, this is this is all magic, or it's, or it's genetics. <laughs> That's basketball right there, people. Basketball games. Yelp gang. Even his friends are games. Gonna all shape here. Yo, I'm skinny. I'm not skinny. <laughs> nah, but you still got the delts, fam. This is, everyone's gonna be coming like black like, Jamaics now. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like BBC genetic standard. Bear in mind, people. This is, actually, try to say you want some tricep. I didn't know you had tricep. So I gotta ask you, people gonna ask, what food do you normally eat? Like basis? chicken, rice, pasta. So cooked food, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long have you been cooking since? Like three years. That's boy, since 14. Since 14, he's been cooking. So for those of you that message me talking about you can't cook, you live at home, bullshit. You can easily put your food to the side and cook it. Gotta call you out. For those of you that say that, oh, your mum cooks, either ask your mum to cook yours better or learn how to cook yourself. There's YouTube, easily done, like, did anyone even teach you? You just, just kinda. Yeah, just watch, just watch your mum doing it. It's trial and never, I always call it like food math. Yeah. Quick thing, all you do is you add one seasoning to one meat, plus a little bit of herbs, and then you kind of know if it's going to taste good, and then you just do it over and over again. As you can see, people, my little bro is on screen, banging out some 21s. If you don't know what that is, it's a bicep exercise where you do seven um, reps, half repping below, seven reps, half repping above, and then you do seven complete reps, so it's called 21, because you're doing 21 reps in total. Anyways, what we're going to do in a minute is cut to my little brother explaining everything he does while he's been in the gym for the past four months, try and see results and see gains. But the main thing I want to get across is everything that my little brother tells you near the end of the video doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to work for you. Like the principles remain the same, but for example, if you try and follow his exact training split and things like that, that is not going to be the answer. You've got to more or less think about the principles he says, like what he kind of eats, which is just home cooked meals are pretty good. He currently doesn't take any supplements, partly because one, he doesn't have the money to buy any, and two, I'm pretty sure my dad wouldn't let him at this current point. Uh, obviously, I don't think supplements are that crazy, but as a beginner and a newbie, I don't, I've always said you don't need to take them anyway, so I'm pretty happy with him not taking any and still seeing results. One of the great things that's made my little brother gain results so quick as well is purely because obviously he has had a background of doing bodyweight training for basketball as he did, but the biggest thing is the fact that his nutrition's been pretty good since like 14. Um, because he hasn't been like me when I went to uni and just kind of ate crap. <laughs> Since 14, he's been cooking his own meals um, purely because he likes cooking. It's like one of the things he loves doing. That combinated with him doing basketball training and now moving into the gym, he's just mad massively seen a lot more results. And I've got to say, I'm really, really proud of him because hopefully he will look way better than me, especially if I can guide him. And the biggest thing as well is I haven't been coaching my little brother. All I did was he asked for my guide, like my complete... Um, fitness guide around five months ago I gave it to him and I just said just use what you want and just do what you're doing from that he's made his own his own routine which you'll hear about near the end of the video and he's managed to see results and I'm really happy um there's a few things in terms of form that I think I could improve and teach him when I see him in the gym but overall I'm just trying to keep the gym really really breezy and easy I don't want it to be like an overkill thing to the point you feel stressed I want him to enjoy his time in the gym and currently he is and you know what's crazy as well even though he's my little brother just seeing him looking pretty lean like he's looking better than last time we went to the gym together is really motivating me to like really push my cut and can't wait to look lean too because once we are both looking lean boy i'm gonna make sure to film some content or get some pictures out there people uh, but yeah it's like extra motivation because my little brother is quite a lot lighter than me in terms of weight so to see him look pretty good at that level lean i can't wait to when i'm back lean again just because it's like extra motivation and when your little brother he motivates you it's kind of cool as well you know what I mean? It makes me want to lose this bulking fluff. But anyways, people, enjoy the rest of the video. Alright, peeps, we have now finished with the gym. Before we end the video, I thought I might as well ask Ramel some questions. So I've got about seven questions here that I think will probably help some of you guys or what you'd want to ask in the So first off, how often do you go to the gym? Three times a week. Normally, when I'm not on holidays. Tuesdays, Fridays and Sundays. What routine do you follow as well? Tuesdays, arms and chest. Fridays, back and shoulders and Sunday legs. As long as you're doing legs. 
are you bulking or cutting? Because people, when they're teenagers, always ask me that question, like, should I be cutting? I want to look shredded. Same maintenance, just, just trying to stay like the same, just build strength. This, to be honest, is what I recommend most beginners, unless you're really, really skinny. Well, it depends. A lot of you under eat, so I try and move you up a bit. But if you're eating the right amount for your size and weight, I normally just say, as you start going to the gym, you will see progress, trust me. If you're eating the right amount of food and training, you're going to see gains quick, especially if you've got a small frame as well. How much cardio do you do a week? Uh, I don't do cardio in the gym, I just do basketball training. So I do two a week, so Mondays and Thursdays. But to be honest, basketball cardio is much harder than I would ever do in the gym. Do you do cardio like just mean playing basketball or does it make you like run sprints or so whatever? We, we'll do obviously playing as well, but then it'll make us do things called suicides, we have to keep doing Oh yeah, like that's like Coach Carter in it. And then push ups and stuff like that, and wall sits. What other calisthenic stuff you do then in basketball? Like the push ups and the whatever. Oh yeah, we started doing like plyometrics and stuff now. Though. So that is partly why he's made some gains as well, because some of you may have heard that he said he's only been going to the actual gym for like four months, like properly. But obviously for three years, he's been doing basketball, so a lot of like push-ups and stuff like that. So for those you always wonder, like, can you see results why, by like doing that sort of workout? You can, you know what I mean? He's got some definition and obviously now he's in the gym, he wants to grow a little bit more size and mass. But if you remember from like the last video, you already had like um, some delt action. But that's that basketball, that constant, that three-pointer lifting up the ball. And don't need them chicken legs either. Everyone thinks you can just be big. It's how them skinny legs. Like we're gonna be in the, you know, wear them short shorts. You think these basketballers pets. usually don't have little legs either because because yeah, yeah. you have to keep running and you're doing the arms. They normally have big delts and calves. It's like bicycle people. They normally just have big calves and legs because yeah, that's yeah. what they're doing all the time. Basketball is a bit more flexible. It's like footballers, big legs, big uh, calves usually. So sports. It all comes down to when you do something repetitive over and over again, you're going to build muscle. That's why baseball players tend to have big forearms. Yeah. Whatever routine that you do on a regular basis, you're going to build muscle over time. Does that look weird? How many times do you do basketball a week? If I'm in season, three times because I have a match in the weekend as well. Two times regularly. Those of you out there that want to start going to the gym, you haven't got to do no madness, you haven't got to train six times a week. Uh, you know what I mean? I often say to some of you guys, if you're a beginner, three to four times a week is perfectly fine. Some dude messed me the other day and said that his trainer said that he won't see any results unless he goes to the gym like six times a week. And he's like, this is a trainer, like a PT, he yeah. told this to like a kid, I think he said he was 17. It's insane, like you don't have to, especially when you're a beginner. Like, I personally think if you're a beginner, you do four days a week. That compared to you doing six days a week, I don't feel there's a massive difference when you're a beginner. You know, once you get more intermediate, then the more times you go, the more volume you can like make results. But as a beginner, just take it easy, man. Just get into a routine so you actually stick with it. If you go six times a week and you don't like going six times a week, eventually you're going to quit and just not stick with it and you're going to see no results. What I say is going four times and going hard each time, like your hardest, is better than going six times and being like nonchalant each time. You know? Exactly. Because there's people I know who go gym way more than me and they're like to me like, yo, why are you lying? You've been going gym for a year, you've been, you go five yeah. times a week. I'm like, no, I'm like, when I go, I proper try to sit there. You are making sessions way, optimal. Because a lot of people as well will go there and just do biceps or just arms. You know what I mean? And in honesty, if you want to see big results, training just arms isn't going to do anything because that's such a small muscle group compared to your whole body. You're not even going to burn that much calories doing that either. You know what I mean? You may get, you don't want big arms and no chest and no legs because you look stupid, trust me. So yeah, is there any other gem you want to give before we dip? No. <laughs> <laughs> the way you thought about it as well. <laughs> any wave tips you want to give him? Man's got the waves on smash out here. Anyways people, peace out. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more teen advice, please drop questions in the comments below. Make a million cash for you flatline. Make a master plan, watch it backfire. Burn it all down and collect the ashes. Build it back, respect your passion.